while we're on the topic of Apple, WatchKit. Yeah. Now, less than 24 hours yeah. after it was released, but yeah. have you had a look yet? Had a quick look last night, yeah. um, had a look at some of the videos. Quite interesting. Uh, the important thing here is that actually your app runs on your phone, not on the yeah. watch, and then it just actually forwards display down. So there's an actual uh, process that runs in iOS 8.2, will run in iOS 8.2, which is responsible for talking to the watch. So it's it's much like what they've done with um, with today extensions and notifications, mm. which are, they're, they're bundled in your app. They're, they're a little package mm. that go alongside your app and then they're designed to work with your app mm. so uh, a watch kit app will actually be bundled onto the phone mm. into an app and then we'll, we'll talk to the device I think that's quite interesting um, I also think that you know you you watch the first developer videos mm. and immediately you go okay I could think of that for yeah. this product that you know yeah. and I think that the possibilities are very uh, very interesting even for a number of our current projects that are on the phone uh, from from a app developer perspective um What's the big difference for you in is it a different way of thinking? I know obviously screen estate is a big deal, but is there anything else major or it's, is it pretty does it fit in pretty seamlessly? It, it'll fit in pretty seamlessly, except the 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 UI is quite constrained. Yeah. Right? Not I don't just mean by size, but in terms of what you can put on it and what you can run on it. So right. say for example, uh, you don't run animations, you actually deliver a set of frames and right. it will run them as an animation. Right. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Whereas on the device you've got really, really strong controls over how you animate things. Yeah. So um it's a it's it's obviously a much lower powered device. Yeah. And it feels a bit iPhone one. <laughs> you yeah. <know>? It yeah. <laughs> does feel a bit iPhone yeah. one. But I think um I think that's okay. I think what's going to happen is we're now going to get used to this as another aspect of a, of an app that you're working on. Mm. You go, so is there a good use case for a watch here as well? Mm. Let's do that with the app, if you know yeah. what I mean. Depending, obviously, on the customer. As, an, as, as, as another interface into the project kind of Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. And so uh, applications, do you think, uh, purely consumer, uh, B2B? Uh, I don't see the B2B stuff. Do you, you not? Know, no. It's a real consumer device. Yeah. It's... Um, you know, and if you think about it, the the iPhone was originally sold for a good three or four generations before they start talking about B two B. You know, um, look, yeah, the stockbroker can get real time alerts on yeah. his phone, but you know, or on his watch, but you know, his beeper is probably going off as well as his phone, as well as his, you know, know. and his and you know, his PA is probably ringing up and telling him a price is changed. I was watching the Avengers recently, <laughs> a black and white version of the yeah. Avengers, which must have been made in the late 60s. Yeah. And there's a stockbroker with Steed in a bar and he has a little, uh, <laughs> yeah. he has a little bleeper. So, you know, yeah. okay, I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you. Um, from a, uh, anything specifically on the strap interface, which is the thing that I'm really interested in? Nothing. No. No, nothing. The strap interface, as far as I could see, is a little switch to slide it out and you slide in the new, yeah. the new strap. Yeah. Um, what will be interesting to see is how interchangeable they are. So will the sport one only take certain types of straps? Will the will the edition only take do you know what I mean? Like will you be able to buy edition and then put <laughs> put a crappy sporty yeah. uh, thing in it? Yes, I'm with you. What about, people won't be stupid enough to do that? What uh, yeah. What about uh, the strap though in the sense of the strap collecting data, be it uh, perspiration or any nothing haptic there. feedback? Absolutely nothing there. Nothing nothing, there. nothing, nothing there. defined or do we know that it it doesn't look like there's an interface to the device for I, it. I don't think there's anything just Do yet. Not? Um, I know that the back of the device does has a couple does have a couple of sensors on yeah. it, but certainly haven't haven't even heard hiding or hair of no. that as a concept. See, that was one of the things that I was convinced that Apple would do, given yeah. you know when we saw the hap you know so much yeah. uh, the haptic and the yeah. uh, the sensors that they were using it. I was convinced, like I had this phrase in my head: apps uh, or straps are the new apps. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. and that people would start to make straps that did very clever. Things, I know what you mean, yeah. be it from yeah. power or uh, me, uh, medicinal uh, I know what you mean. Uh, uh, healthcare. I, I certainly haven't heard anything like that. Okay. The only thing I've heard about the the haptic stuff is, you know, the stuff that everybody will just expect, which is that tapping you to let you know that there's a there's a notification or whatever. That it seems that it's very very subtle that mm. the person beside you doesn't know it's happened, mm. but you do. Which sounds kind of cool, but yeah, yeah you know. there's a very cool. I came across uh, came across a smart uh, a smart smart jewelry is yeah. apparently uh, <laughs> a trend. Yeah. I've been hanging out with fash tech people recently, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, Ringley, New York company, and they have a ring. Uh, and talk about discreet. Yeah. So that alerts you for you know the VIP call or the app or the yeah. calendar. You know, I mean, I thought, gee, how smaller can this get? I you know? do remember like 
a good 10 years ago at Java 1 they gave out uh, rings that ran Java is that <laughs> really they look, <laughs> they look like the thing you'd get for you know winning the Super Bowl you know? yeah, yeah. and it had um, I know, uh, but I never got why? Yeah, 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 why? Yeah, no, yeah. But the ring was a little yeah. tiny machine that ran Java. I, you know? I, I like that. I don't know how much Ringley's going to cost, but they're cool. I think like they're very to me yeah. as a man. They're attractive looking uh, devices. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, is there a place for them? Well, we'll see. Is it novelty? We'll see. What's What's very interesting was when Apple did show off the watch. Yeah. Like outside of the the scope of um of the campus itself, the first place they put them on show was in a watch shop in Paris. Yeah, that's and yeah, it was a fashion. Yeah. Store. Yeah. It wasn't that, that a tech store. It wasn't. Yeah. They've got apparently a great Apple store in Paris. They yeah. didn't put it up there. They yeah. put it into a fashion store. I think that's kind of fascinating. Uh, that makes a statement, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. yeah, and Angela Rance probably has something to do with yeah, that. You sure, know, yeah. and the other fashion, uh, one of the other VPs. They did, didn't they? Yeah. They hired a, a friend of Johnny's whose whose background was in that's designing right. watches. Yeah. yeah. Um, on in relation to the uh, in relate so uh, so in relation to the watch in general. Uh, question. Tim Cook said he controls his Apple TV yeah. using his watch. Okay. Do you think that's gesture or do you think he's using the interface? I think he'd be using the interface. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Annie, have you seen anything that makes gesture a reality? No, 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 there isn't. Again, look, the 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 release in the last couple of days was very, very basic. It was, you know, here, here's how you're gonna here's how you're gonna operate, and it's very much running the um, running the application. On your um, on your phone, okay. So um, even uh, a, a lot of the information is about read only data. So yeah. the information you're pushing to the device, yeah. there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Now, there is ways of getting feedback through menus and stuff like that, and there are some buttons. But all they do is send a signal back to your device to say the button has been pressed. Gotcha. If you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I you know. Uh, it's very much a version one, and I don't mean that I, just in terms of watch kit. I mean that in terms of the device. Of the device itself, yeah. yeah. So it's very much about interface as opposed to uh, capacity. Yeah, or yeah. and I, I, yeah. I think I still think that's okay. I think yeah. what, what happens yeah. is app developers start to see yeah. the opportunity, potential and opportunities right. yeah. and, and build yeah. upon it. And then what you'll then see is, well... What are the ones that have gone beyond gimmick and yeah. become something useful? That, yeah. And now do we focus more on that? Uh, yeah, okay. And that and that probably and as we saw with the app store itself, yeah. that impacts how Apple then start to change direction and move sure. on.